What's up, Mando Army? Welcome back to another League of Legends video. <clears throat> we are playing 1, 2, 3, Jax in the top lane. Uh, what that means is that we're going to be playing Kraken Slayer Jax. Uh, it gets great synergy with his passive, if you guys did not know. Um, <clears throat> his ult passive. Uh, Jax's ultimate is that... Every third auto attack, once he has his ult, is that he, it gets a massive amount of increased damage. So, uh, with that said, we are going to be playing into that uh, in a way that focuses him, focuses him into a more of a damage dealing role. Um, we're playing against a Darius. So, uh, we naturally, we do not want to fight the Darius when we do not have any items or levels. Uh, so we're just going to let his wave push into us. Early laning going to be real passive here. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of CS for not getting killed. Not giving the Darius first blood here. Because this is basically what you have to do in a Darius lane. He pretty much beats any other top laner uh, in levels 1, 2, and 3 for the most part. So you don't want to you don't want to really give him the opportunity to get anywhere on you when it comes into the first couple of levels of the game. Be nice and content to just collect my farm over here. Miss my cannon like a noob. Who's next? Yeah, get him to make those little mistakes like walking under tower. Small, small advantages here, boys, is what we're looking for. And walk away. We're looking for those micro trades. We're not looking for extended trades against Darius. Um, so, you know, when he wants to start the trade with his Q, what I'll do is I'll jump on him. Uh, and then start spinning my E so he can't get his blood stacks up or his bleed stacks. Talia, I really don't know why you're here. I'm not, I'm not helping your girlfriend. Please do not die. I mean, she got me some free farm, so I'll take that. I get a one level level advantage off of that. And there we go. Just make sure I stayed inside of his Q. Uh, that's why I even busted my flash there. Um, to just not give him the percentage missing health heal. And call it a day. Um, so that was flash and ignite committed for me. But that's a pretty big um, bonus to me, because look at all of this farm that he's missing. He misses right around three waves of farm for this. And I get a pretty decent buy point straight into my crack in there by a pink ward and a potion. And we'll go back to lane. Uh, so what we're doing here for the build, we've built up Conqueror, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Taste of Blood, Ravenous Hunter, Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. Uh, and we will be building a Ravenous Hunter first item, and then we'll be going into probably an Essence Reaver or a Blade of the Rune King, depending on what I feel like building. I like the Blade of the Rune King second, but I also like getting a Sheen item on Jax just because it's so good. Um, so he, he's only level five, so we kind of beat him up here. 
Yeah, we kind of just beat him up here. Let me at him. So what I did there was I prepped my my passive for my ult. I did one, two, and then before I did my third auto attack, I leapt on him and did auto Q or auto W, uh, which is W is an auto attack reset. So I basically primed, front loaded all of my damage. And then uh, just slapped him with it, basically. Jumped on him with it and slapped him with it. So now he's six. We just want to be careful again about taking these extended traits. Walk away from that. Nope. Yeah, see, he wants to... He's, he's looking for it. We'll let this one go. We're a little close to his tower. We're going to let him push out to us. So what we're going to do here instead is we're going to go get our pink ward down. I'm going to let this wave just push to us. It's an even minion wave, his side of the map. It pushes our direction. Uh, so we'll just make sure we get the XP from a few of these little guys. Wow, what is popping off down in bot lane here? Okay, last hit a couple of things. This will still bounce to us. It's just going to be slow. So we just need to wait here. Make sure we stay in XP range for those ones that are dying in the back. I have a still a 10 CS advantage on him, so... Nope. Bye-bye. You don't win this anymore, buddy. So again, I just prepped up my damage to front load it there. Um, so I auto attacked the minions twice. Then I leapt onto him, auto W'd. Uh, once he started in with the trade, I prepped my E up to get that stun in. And then uh, we went from there. So we can get a plate here and then we probably want to back out. Because uh, I don't see, I don't know where their jungler is, and I don't know where their mid lane is. They might be taking Harold right now, so again, just want to be safe here. Let's get a little bit of armor just to make sure that we win these trades still. See, he's 0 2. We're 2 0. Oh. Got a pretty good spot going right here for. You know, the first eight minutes of the game. There's a Nidalee topside. So Nidalee is going to be topside. I'm going to want to play this next push a little bit careful. I'm going to want him to push this in. He's going to get my pink ward right there. That's fine. Nidalee is mid now, so I can basically do what I want. I saw where the mid laner went as well. So, okay, so what I want to do right here is hold this. Okay, so this is a freeze. Oops. I might have just broken it. See, he walked away, so I'm going to fast push this. Coming. I'm coming. Oh my goodness. Talia. Talia is just chasing people like crazy over here. Okay, so Harold is telling me that there's people over there. Okay. I still have a big level advantage on him here. Um, I have a decent farm advantage as well. So again, we're going to let this wave push out to us. 
just last hitting our minions when we can. I want him away from his tower. You don't want to fight under the tower, especially when you're... I mean, I'm, I'm up on him, but I don't want to fight a Darius under his tower and give him just the free damage. Okay. It's on. One, two, looking for the leap. Short trades. Again, just looking for those short, bursty trades. And it's gonna get better when I get the Kraken Slayer. This Talon is going to be a problem. Okay, I don't want to. I just want to let this wave bounce. How close am I to getting my Kraken? I'm pretty close. I need a kill here to get this Kraken Slayer. So what we're going to do is we're going to play. Slapping him. Okay, cool. Just play a little aggressive and bop him. Gotta do the bush play. Just get him with the bap. And Kraken Slayer. What's good? Alright, now this lane is gonna get a lot easier. <laughs> so, um, and then my leather legendary items will give me attack speed, which is gonna be real good. Because if there's one thing that Jax loves, he loves his attack speed. Hmm. Talon with a Prowler's Claw. He's 8 2. He's big. Alright. What's the team doing over here? Okay. Um. Don't die. You see what I just did? I just did about 25%, well, maybe 20% of his life to him in a single auto. And that was my passive, my Kraken Slayer, and my W all at the same time. Let's see. I think I live here. I misplayed a little bit there. I missed. I think I missed my stun, but that's fine. That was a. That was kind of like a damage check. Um, I just wanted to damage check into him to see how. How I was gonna do. So, just a little misplay. I wanted to not keep that extended trade like I was talking about. I want to keep them short bursty trades, even though I have the advantage on him. Um, because he's Darius, so his, his character plays into those long extended trades. And, and in a way, Jax does as well because of his stack, the stacking portion of his actual passive. But right now, that's not necessarily what we're wanting to utilize out of our kit. We're wanting to utilize the passive off of, off of Grandmaster's Might, which is his ultimate, and our three hit um, off of our item. So... Short three hit trades in and out, in and out, kind of like a boxer is how we're going to be playing this. We're fighting smart, not. Nope. Yeah, we're going to try and fight him smart and not like a uh, just a brawler. Talia, what are you doing back there, girlfriend? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this wave over here. I'm going to get it slow pushing to me. And 
just last hit it if I can. My goodness, what is the team doing down there? While this wave is slow pushing to me, let's go get some... My goodness. Their team is just... I don't know. I don't know. Goon squadron. My team is just feeding into it, too. I broke the push. It's time to push... Push it, push it in. Let's get plated steel caps here. And then I think I do want to go into the Blade of the Ruin King next. Um, just to give me that sustain against the Darius. We have a three kill advantage. Well, I should say we have a two kill advantage. We have about 20 CS, exactly 20 CS. So that equates to essentially a three kill advantage. You're looking at about 17 CS is what a kill equals in the way of gold, about, depending, you know, cannons, melee minions, etc. We still have a big item advantage on him. So again, we're just crashing the wave. We're going to let it bounce. Look for a little play. Now it's my turn. Again, those short trades there. Avoiding a lot of his bleed stacks. <clears throat> that was pretty much his half of his life bar. Cool. We're just looking for slow, slow advantages here. Our team is absolutely running it down, though, so I, I have bad feelings about the outcome of this game. But, uh, I mean, at least you're seeing what this build can do in the laning phase here. I drug that way wa that wave into the bush right there to set up a slow push to towards me. So all I'm doing is I'm just last hitting. Bring it on. The wave is slowly walking my direction. Slowly walking my direction. Just want to get him in a long lane. Let this wave, we'll let this wave push to me. Just be patient. He's losing CS here. I'm not. He's losing experience here. I'm not. Just last hitting it up. Wave management, boys, is very important. He's not getting any of this CS. He's missing all of this experience. Okay, he's gone for too long. I push. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that was a really bad just play from him. Stack up the wave, push it into him, let it bounce back to me. Let's go get this plant right here. Yeah, I'm still here, bud. Oh, 
Walk away, free trades. Wow. Just going to send everybody top for me. That's cool. Cool. So they have to three man me top because I'm making Darius's life a living hell. Okay, interesting. Just wanted to see what was going to happen there with our team. Uh, no, don't touch that wave. Don't touch the wave. Don't touch the wave. I guess I mean I guess he made it made it all the way under the tower, so it bounces again because I want to keep him in this long lane. He got a good catch up there though, so he's to the point where we're almost even again. Mostly due to my team. <laughs> I've only died once, so. Um I'm just going to go ahead and take his tower on this push, and then we're going to start making our way around the map. Here for the local gold. Thank you. All right. don't have anything that we can go help with around the map, do we? Okay, when's our next item? We have our next item in base. Should probably go for that. Just keeping my eye on the map here. Okay, push it again. Go back to to base. Let's get the Bork. Um, I'm feeling feeling hysterics here, just because we need a little bit of beef. We're gonna go group with the team now and make things happen. Drop a little wardy behind us just in case and let's make some things happen here. Let's go. I mean, cool. 
We'll take all of that. Yeah. We'll take all of that right there. I just walked over and was said, okay, guys, we're marching it down mid lane. Like, let's just go. Let's take this in Hib. I'm Jax. Follow me. Kogma said, okay, cool. I'm Kogma. I'll follow you. He's six and seven. He's a real big boy. Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. They're just gonna... Are they just... They're just gonna take the whole... The whole base? My goodness, Kog'Maw. Does Kog'Maw follow my build guide? No, he did He did Kraken Slayer as well. Kraken Slayer Ginsu's. He's a big boy. Alright, let's go down here. I'm gonna clean up the bot lane. Um, Because I have a feeling that they're about to die. Yeah, he's about to die. So that was a lot that we got out of that push. Uh, that I kind of started. I mean, I'm taking credit for it. But I'm also going to try and capitalize on the fact that our Teemo has got the zone up. Get him, Teemo. Take the dragon. Whatever, bro. Get out of here. What you think you are? Think you're hard? I'll beat you up in laning phase like a million times. Yep. I will just... I'll just right-click on him until he's dead. <laughs> I think Darius forgot who bullied him through his laning phase. Because he started getting some kills, you know, elsewhere on the map. Started doing some Darius things and forgot that, you know, Jax v. Darius is not really a, a winning lane for him. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go back. So I've got enough for my item here. Cool, we got our Sterics. Uh, I think next, I wanna, hmm, I wanna go into a Sheen item, but Essence Reaver is really gonna be the only one that I can do. Let's go back to the top side here. Now that I've got the Sterics, I do not fear Darius at all. Uh, to be honest, though, I only feared Darius for the first, like, three levels of the game. Uh, and then once I was able to take some decent trades into him, it was... It was over. It was over. So their entire team is basically Talon. So all I need to do is just be able to not die to Talon's burst. And I'll be all right. Nidalee, I don't... I mean, did you did you see what I just did to your Nidalee? I don't think you guys want some. I don't I don't think you guys want it. Cool. There's Talon. Of course. I drew all five of them to the top side of the map, so all we need to do is push push, 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 push. They're all on the top side, and we just need to push other other objectives here. 
Go ahead. Get that. Our team's kind of trolling just a little bit. Like, Kogma is kind of trolling. A little bit. He's like, he's not really trolling. I, I would say Kogma's kind of flexing right now. Because he's a big boy. Oh, don't be afraid of him, Kogma. Don't be afraid of him. I kept him face down in the dirt all game. You don't have to worry about that, man. Uh, we got 60 seconds until dragon, so I think I'll go take another dragon here for our team. If they're not going to be interested in doing it. Oh my goodness, that pull. That's everybody, isn't it? Okay. Well, I will grab this dragon when it comes up. Actually, I probably won't, because they're going to walk this way now. Walk this way. Talk this way. Uh, she's... Smote? Smited? Oh. Come, come over. Come over, girl. Okay. I'll do that. Kill their jungler. Ready for battle. Yeah, I know where he's at. He has entirely too much burst damage, guys. He absolutely burned my entire shield here. 100. I didn't have any stacks of bloodlust. That was it. Okay. Um, I mean, I think we can Baron, guys. What are we doing? See, these three people are on comms. Um, I'm pretty sure. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. I'm not entirely certain. But they all chose the B skins, so that's why I was pretty certain that their group... Need to get the Talon. Talon has to be the focus. Let's get the Talon. Get the Talon. Talon just literally needs to be the focus. If he's not the focus, we are not doing it right. Bring it on. Did they even sweep that? Like, did they even know that that's... I don't think. I think they know, guys. An ally has been slain. It's on. Okay, I'm just going to try and take some objectives and stuff here. I'm going to die for this. Yeah, there's no getting away from uh, Stridebreaker, man. Is 
I'm just asking them to please try to set up for Baron. Like we asked for three minutes ago. Yeah, they um, they fed way too hard for... Okay, so I have 8 and 10. I have 5 and 9. I have 8 and 16 to Leah Jungle. Like, mm. Did really well in lane. I beat uh, Darius up super, super hard. Um, I made him hate him, his life in the lane and cannot, cannot beat fed feeding teammates, though. So, it's pretty terrible when you're doing really good and your teammates are, they, they just make your life a living hell. Because uh, you can't get more fed than, you know, the enemy when your teammates are just running it down to them. So, not a big deal. We're going to try and play it out. There are the possibility of throws. There's always the possibility of our team throwing. Oof, I, al I almost beat him there. Why, why are you trying to wall in a Talon when he can just jump your wall? Timo, what are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, Talia. I don't know what to do here for my last item. I think I just go GA. Right? I think I just go GA for when Talon tries to jump on me next. You know what? Let's do that. I want to try to get this right here. We had an opportunity to win this game, too, when I moved off into the mid lane and we did that push. Um, and our team just kind of let it slide. This Talon's having the game of his lifetime. He's fucking running. Yeah, see, he knows. He ran for me like a little bitch. I don't care about you, Nidalee. You don't hurt. You guys want to do that, that's fine. That wave pushes itself. Like, let me get this other wave pushed up here. Team is... Pinging. Bring it on. Let's see, where's Talon? Talon disappeared into this topside jungle here. Okay, there he is. Oh, Talon's dead. We win the game right here, boys. Just win the game boys that's how you do it
that's how you carry a team as unwilling as they are across the victory line by their panty straps. Let's fucking go. Heart is racing. Had to carry the team. I'll give it to Kogma. He was pretty good. Alrighty, so this is going to be the latest video that I've posted in a day so far, but scoreline 6-6-6, six, six, and six. Um, they had a really fed talent, so I'm not sad with that scoreline. Most farm on the team, um, yeah, that's a really decent game. Um, so you guys saw how that went in the laning phase. Um, it was just the 1-2 hit him with the 3 once you got the, um, once you got the, the Kraken Slayer really synergizes with his ultimate passive, so great things there to be seen. And uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't pop off as hard as the build can because my team was feeding so hard that it was a little bit difficult to get to overcome the 21 and what what was he? 30 kill Talon? Yeah, 31 kill Talon on their team. Um, but, uh, you know, after a point, he stopped being able to one-shot me once I got I think it was the death stance. He was unable to one shot me after that. So there you go. There's one, two, three talent. Put it in the books. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like on the video. Uh, comment. Let me know what you'd like to see me play next. And uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to join the Mando Army. And remember, the Mando Army needs you. Peace.